what can you offer to prepare future students for the Friday night lectures? Take a nap beforehand. Coffee and fettonings. Uh, and popcorn. <laughs> for us, it was at dinner time, so we like got our meal, put it on the television, had our notepad ready to go. One thing that's helped me, and I think that Richard has said it, is I have adopted one sticky notes and index cards, um, especially if you are a little bit perfectionistic about how you take notes. I think that's super helpful is to be able to have pieces that you can move around in ways that make sense visually to your brain. Um, you know, feel free while he's talking about some stuff on the lectures to go explore on, on the internet and or you know write them down look at it later and get your mind thinking see how everything kind of connects and so it kind of gives you a little bit of a break from the i want to say monotony but the the length of, of the lecture don't be holding yourself to watching them all at once um i often will break them up so i can not have to kind of really commit half of my day essentially sometimes to listening to them and i do understand i do think that if you're if your uh, your attention span is not really developed it's a good thing to to try and, and develop it before the lecture starts because at, 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 as soon as the fourth lecture the lecture starts to be really heavy in terms of content and it's really good once you uh, you try to get your intention from start to finish the the biggest way to prepare for those is just to know like to know that it's coming um, so like, I did get that, you know, warning of like, it is a time commitment and Rich is always very, very crystal clear to talk about this. But you know, then he always, he always also said, if you want it, like you will do it. You know, if you want it bad enough, you will make it happen. It's, it's prioritizing. And so that you don't have to get it all. He is, he's created something that is for every person in the class to find exactly what they need at exactly the moment they need it. And so he's not always talking to you. If you're trying to like get everything on the first pass, there's just no way unless you really have 24 hours, seven days a week to commit to autonomy. One of the things that has really helped me is waiting until, like I like the fact that like being there when it's happening live, but I think it helps me more to be able to pause and then I'm able to take more in-depth notes. And it's just dependent upon how you learn and learning how you learn is going to be like the biggest asset to you in moving through that. You have to, don't, don't expect to get it all in one sitting. <laughs> you know, just take it in and write your, take your, write your favorite parts down and revisit them. If you feel like you're in a rut or you need some inspiration, like you'll find it. And it's meeting everybody where they're at. So some of the stuff has to just pass by and be cool ideas. And then there will be plenty. We were like filling notebooks with ideas of things we could do. And that's exciting. You know, how much better is that than like, oh, I just don't, I can't think of any way out of this situation. Instead, you're like, where do I begin? <laughs> so I think it's a fire hose. Go for the ride and don't worry that you won't get anything out of it because you're going to be lit up again and again and again and again. Um, if you do go through the Friday night and stay up, hats off to you. That's impressive. There are some people who've been doing that. I guess just speaking from my own experience, like, just don't put too much pressure. Like, the replays are there. <laughs> the replays will be there if you miss it, you know. Um, yeah, the replays are there.